On Monday of this week, Rudy Giuliani, in addition to being allegedly drunk at the uh, White House while telling Trump to deny the election results, uh, he also filed a countersuit against the Smartmatic voting software company because he wants to recoup his legal fees for the defamation suit that Smartmatic filed against him and Fox News and Fox News hosts and a bunch of other folks. So Rudy Giuliani, in a case that of course has not yet even gone to trial, it's literally still in the discovery phase, is already saying this whole thing is so bogus that you gotta pay me back. I'm not even done with my legal fees yet, but I am asking the court to demand that you pay me back because I'm suing you because you sued me. Now, believe it or not, this is actually not uncommon in defamation cases. Uh, there's something called SLAPP lawsuits, S-L-A-P-P. -P. Of course, it is an acronym. And people use these SLAPP lawsuits when they get hit with defamation lawsuits to sue the party suing them, claiming that, hey, they got no claims. They're just trying to shut me up and stifle my freedom of speech. And that, of course, is what Giuliani is claiming in his lawsuit. You know, hey, I did nothing wrong. They're just trying to make it to where I don't have my freedom of speech anymore. Yeah, you got freedom of speech, but you don't have freedom from libel, slander, and defamation. I mean, that's, that, that's literally one of the very few limits we have on freedom of speech here in the United States. And that's what you're being sued for. Now, if this thing were, of course, to go to trial and Giuliani were to prevail, which ain't gonna happen, then would be the time to hit them with the slap suit, right? A lot of times what happens with these slap suits, by the way, is if it's a case between two kind of minor parties, you will have the slap suit filed before the case comes to a, a conclusion. Uh, basically, they'll file the slap suit in an attempt to get you to drop the defamation suit. That is the way this typically happens. I've seen it over and over and over again through my line of work, not to mention the, the law firms that I have worked with over the years, it's very common and it is used basically to shut down a lawsuit because it you know, has no merit. This one has merit. And the thing is, we know this one has merit because the judges have already ruled that it does in fact have merit. They have said there is reasonable enough evidence to show that the parties involved should have known or should have had the knowledge that what they were saying about Smartmatic was in fact false. So of course that is not a final ruling in the case, but that is what the judges have determined when these parties, Fox News specifically, have tried to get them dismissed. The judges have already looked at it and said, nah, there's ample evidence here, guys. You guys are gonna face this. You're not wiggling your way out of this. And Fox News, of course, has a wonderful history of being able to wiggle out of defamation lawsuits, but they haven't been able to get out of this one. So it kind of blows my mind a little bit for Rudy Giuliani, who as incompetent as he is, to think that he can get out of it when even Fox News hasn't been successful in doing that. But it is what it is, right? In the coming weeks, we will probably learn more about Rudy Giuliani's little slap suit against Smartmatic. It'll probably get struck down in courts. It'll be dismissed. He'll appeal it, and we'll go through that whole rigmarole. But at the end of the day, Giuliani made false claims about Smartmatic. We all watched the press conference. Of course, it was the one where his hair was melting down his face. We heard you say it. Then you went on Fox News, and you said the same thing, and now you got Fox News sued as a result of that. You're not going to wriggle your way out of this one. The lawsuit's coming and you can try to delay it all you want with this slap suit. But in the end, that's just going to cost you more legal fees that you're never going to get back. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the Fair and Balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like, comment, and share. But again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh, not be so grumpy.